Alright guys, so I got the 63L8 or the Phoenix in the shop here. And uh, I'm going to start addressing uh, the issues that I found. Uh, in no particular order, I'll round them off here. The starter clutch not, not functioning right, which more than likely it probably, like I said, it fried the cams in there. So, it's going to be that because it got, it got hot enough to melt the governor which was right beside it and the carb was also melted completely so and due to those I have a half notion not to even try this gas tank because it probably probably cooked the solder out of the joints um, so more than likely it'll probably leak but you know I gotta try it just gotta try it and the other and the real super big main issue is the lack of a a ground from the magneto to the head. Now when I had the magneto off I did in fact clean the base and I believe I cleaned the transmission. I might try uh, throwing some lock washers on the bottom of the bolts. I don't remember if I did that or not. And see if that'll give it a good enough bite to get some ground up to the cylinder head. Uh, if not, I have a sneaking suspicion either the cylinder head doesn't have a good connection to the jug or there's no uh, no ground path through the transmission into the aluminum case um, which I'm gonna have to take the governor bracket off anyhow so that will I can clean up those bolts and put them back in and see what that does and we'll go from there so uh, let's get started here I guess uh, before I go on I'll mention did in fact get the high low shift levers freed up. Uh, I also took these grips off a parts tractor I had. This grip, this grip. I had that laying in my toolbox. And this one was a tractor I uh, painted. And the grips look decent on top, but they're, they're wore through. They might actually be off the Navy L if I remember correctly, and they're sliced most of the way. But as of right now, they'll do for this machine so uh anyhow without further ado let's get started all right hopefully you guys can see it okay there uh i don't have my impact sockets so we'll see if we can get this off without breaking them normal socket Excuse the background noise, it's uh, raining a little bit. I guess it's going to rain for a little while, so bring you guys back when I make some progress. Okay, I got an inch and a sixteenth socket on there. socket back on there. But uh everything looks pretty good in here, like I said the fan spins at least. I'm sure the bearings in that aren't too good. Uh, I haven't decided what I'm gonna do there but well I got this off. Um 
from now on I'm going to remove the electric start plate and the governor bracket so I'll do that off camera you guys don't need to see that and uh, I will get the new new to it starter clutch and put it on and uh, we'll go from there there you see about the fuel shut off on here it looks like it's fried too so stay tuned this is one of those if you've ever dealt with a tracker it's been through a fire some of the bolts can be such a pain in the butt to get out case in point this hitch bolt uh, I'm gonna put. I'm gonna use my impact here and see if we can either break the bolt without hurting my fingers, break the socket, or if it'll spin right off, that'd be great too. Yeah. Three, two, one. That was actually a different result than I expected. <laughs> Hopefully you guys got your safety glasses on back there. You guys about kind of hit the wrench here. That was pretty good. But, uh, yeah, come off of there. That was tight. Everything you have to watch, too, is like that, that hitch strap was, uh, I was awful pliable now. It takes the temper out of all the steel, so. You gotta be careful, like I said, working on a tractor that's been in a fire. Um, you never know what you run across in, in terms of stuck bolts or weakened bolts. So, anybody want to see the internal workings of a Gravely Governor? There's your, uh, oh, your weights right there. And see when it, when it tries to move, it pushes the, pushes the shaft out there. And that's what in turn moves the rod on top. I guess it would be right here. And uh, that's what works your throttle. So that's that. Pile of garbage here. Okay, so uh, now I just gotta get the electric start off, which. Oh, goody joy, that can be some more fun. So I'll bring it back, see what I find. Okay, so while I'm down here looking at everything, I uh, hopefully you guys will be able to see this, but my suspicions are confirmed about the solder in this tank. So uh, I'm not going to chance this tank. Uh, I will take it off and I will get another one that is good. Another thing that I see, which hopefully you guys will be able to see there. But you can see there's no belt there. And there's still belt there. So the, <laughs> the belt on the top half of the fan is still, is still there, which is kind of rather... Uh, remarkable so that leads me to believe that that didn't I mean it got it got warm for sure um, but it didn't get that hot there and there's also on the starter side there's still paint on the block which is good now, I'm sure the carb side got hot because I'm sure there was a uh, gas running down there I'm sure and I'm sure that uh, helped fuel the fire on that side but uh, otherwise, everything else is looking pretty good here. Not seeing any massive cracks in the block or nothing. I was kind of 
looking at that, I don't know if any of you guys remember, but I've seen them cracked along the bolt holes down here. Uh, if they sat with water in them over the winter. So that all looks good. Um, like I showed in the beginning clip, the MacGyver uh, hitch strap on that side. I'm pretty sure I have I have some hitch straps, so I'll, I'll fix that up. But uh, here is the good. Uh, the good used starter clutch I have. It's orange. You can see somebody brazed this pin in here, which doesn't really bother me, but that's the reason why I never sold it to anybody. I kept it, but as you can see, see it free wheels and it catches. Free wheels catches, and it, it does it very nicely, so I'm going to assume this clutch is in fairly decent condition. don't know if you guys can hear in the background, but it is thundering outside. Looks a little weird on camera, the green out there, but, uh, yeah, so, uh, I'm going to keep plugging away at this, so, uh, catch you in a bit. If not, it might be the end of the video, so, uh, I guess I'll show you guys I get it put back together anyhow, so, alright, give me a few minutes, or for you guys, a couple seconds. <laughs> okay, so I got the starter clutch on there, ended up, uh, I had to switch. Uh, the bolts are, uh, that locks it in the crank. Uh, the fully threaded one, the threads must be messed up down in there part way. Uh, hopefully it'll, it'll focus there, but it started, uh, started taking the threads off the end there when I got down in so far. And I don't have a, uh, I don't have a tap that size. So... I ended up switching to one. The camera will focus here. I think it's focused now. I ended up switching to one that uh, is only threaded towards the towards the tip of this, and uh, it's smooth from there to there. So, so that worked out. I got that on there, and uh, now it catches and works and that the fan belt I put on is like I said is questionable at best but what are you gonna do so uh for now I think it's gonna it's gonna be it for part I think I'm on part four here of the Phoenix uh, or the burnt 63 L8 um yeah I'm going to look for a gas tank um I so badly want to take the two head bolts out and put this back on. Um, I know if I do that, I'm probably going to end up shooting myself in the foot and breaking one of the head bolts off. So i got to do that, and the exhaust, the exhaust bolts are still broke off. i got to decide if I want to drill holes or if I want to just try and weld it on. And uh, obviously enough, I've still got to fill it with oil because there's none in it and find a gas tank and I see there's some Mickey Mouse thing going on with the linkage over here this needs flipped uh, down below because actually when you engage it forward you can see it pushes way down and that's why that rod's bent weird and when you pull it, pull it back for reverse it actually pulls it straight so that's why it's flipped below like that for anybody who ever wondered uh, and other than that, I think that's everything for this episode, guys. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see everybody in the next one. Eventually, the phoenix will rise. We'll bolt something on the front, and we'll we'll get mowing if it ever stops raining. Uh, later, guys. <laughs>